for volunteering. Please. And I know what you're all thinking. Well, you're just embarrassing your children. But fun cancels out stress and brings everyone into the moment. You know what? A little bit. Because my mother never cooked, I knew dinner was ready by the smoke detector going off. Ah, very nice. But instead of anger or intimidation, we can choose fun. Anger is something we choose because we don't know what else to do to get the results we want. And anger often manipulates people into doing what we want. Anger is always a choice. I went to my first parent-teacher interview. Uh, do we have any teachers here? Yeah? I hate you people. <laughs> I go in, right, and it's this old British woman, and she's like, Miss Davis, I just want you to know that your daughter is reading extremely well. And I'm like, that is amazing. Because I don't think I read my first book until I finished high school. <laughs> and then she was like, well, no doubt. <laughs> what was it called? And I was like, well, it was called, so now you're pregnant. <laughs> And I hear the two older kids saying to her one day, yeah, we used to have a sister just like you. <laughs> her name was Christina. And she had glasses like you and blonde hair like you. And she was really cute, just like you. And we ate her. <laughs> and I go running down. I'm like, you cannot say that to her. You can't scare her like that. That is unacceptable. And in another part of my brain, I'm thinking, you guys are a genius. <laughs> Maddie never listens to me. I'm like, get your shoes on, get your shoes on. You know, Christina wouldn't get her shoes on either. Ah. So I was in a bit of a money jam recently where my uh, son lost a tooth. And uh, I was an idiot because when they first lost a tooth, I got all excited and gave them five bucks. Yeah, they got 25 of those suckers each. Start with a quarter. That's all I'm saying, people. But, but all I could come up with was a buck 87. That was it, right? And I put that under his pillow and he wakes up the next morning and he's like, there's no such thing as a tooth fairy. And I'm like, why? Didn't the tooth fairy come? He's like, you gave me a buck 87. And that's all I had in my piggy bank. <laughs> Well, and he's, you know, he's a typical guy. He's really into, you know, fast things. Like, he just bought a car for a ridiculous amount of money mm -hmm. because it goes from zero to 150 in 2.8 seconds. And right. I'm like, yeah, so does my bathroom scale. <laughs> <laughs>